What is up guys? Mr. The Reaver 2, welcome back to the channel. Most of you guys already know by now that season four for Call of Duty Modern Warfare has been delayed due to the terrible events of what's going on in the news with the rioting, the protest, and of course the murder of George Floyd. So because of that, Activision has since put a hold on everything because it does kind of take away from the hype and the excitement of the plans they have for season four. Um, but inside the game files, Modern Warzone has discovered that the release date again inside the files are now set with the time of this coming Tuesday, June the 9th, which of course is next week. Now, it could still potentially get pushed back even further if something major again does happen in the news, but I think with what's going on right now with the rioting and whatnot, um, I think that has kind of ran its course, but you know, people are still upset and protesting, so it's not completely quiet just now. Um, but again, something could still happen, which may push the uh, date back a little bit further. Um, but again, because of the rioting, the protest, and um, the murder of George Floyd, Activision and Inside Call of Duty have came out with statements regarding Black Lives Matter and basically condemning those who are against equality. And they said that they stand against those who are racist and don't want equality for all, which is a pretty nice gesture to see like you probably have noticed by now if you played warzone because before the game starts you get hit with this on-screen message and also activision and infinity ward have stated that they are planning to take more steps to remove racist activision id names um, from their game which is really really a big issue with call of duty right now um, but they said they are adding additional resources to monitor and id racist content adding additional in-game reporting systems to increase the number of bans per hour adding filters and greater restrictions on a name changes, evaluating in-game improvements to make it easier to report offenses, and increasing permanent bans to root out repeat offenders, which, you know, is a pretty big issue right there in itself because, you know, once people get banned for like a week because of their name, then they could just like, you know, go back to doing it again so um it's nice that they are taking those bands more seriously and uh, rooting out those repeat offenders who you know keep having racist names in their clan tags or again activision ids it'd be also nice to see if they would accept like video proof of um people in games saying racial slurs because um just the other day i was playing the game with uh, with some friends of mine and uh, in search and destroy of course which is pretty dang toxic in itself um but yeah i got called a, a racist slur um because me and my team lost in the game and i have video proof of it and i tried submitting it to activision support um and, and even the activision ambassadors but they really couldn't do anything they just said to report them inside the game so i'm not sure what came out of that hopefully they did receive their um punishments for that but um i don't know it would just nice to see, it, it would just be nice to see if they could like you know review video footage of people saying those things so i don't know we'll have to wait and see what happens when it comes to these updates and whatnot which should be coming out hopefully by next week on june the 9th with the um, major update for season four in Warzone. And with that could also come the nuke Easter egg event, which that in itself, I'm not sure what's gonna happen or where the launch will strike or even what the outcome is gonna be. But some people have speculated that the nuke is supposed to strike the dam. I'm not sure if this is in correlation with the dam going to break, but um, you know, 100% that dam is absolutely gonna fall because if you go to the little catwalk on the bridge, you can clearly hear, it sounds like a lot of weight is caused Causing the dam to creak and it's making this very very eerie noise that wasn't there before a couple weeks ago or even a couple updates ago um, it just sounds like the dam is gonna collapse take a look And then lastly, guys, I want to give full credit to Dan and Nicole's for finding this. He was playing inside of a Warzone game when the dam actually glitched out and water from a part of the dam was gushing out. It only happened for like a split second. So I'm going to try and edit the footage as best as I can to give you a better, clear view of it. And yeah, I believe where the water is gushing out, that's like the loudest section of the dam that's making those eerie creaking noises. So, um, you know, that obviously does kind of lead me more to believe that the dam is going to be coming down 
and it's going to be coming down very very soon but now as for how the map is going to change that you know in itself is still a big mystery to me so again make sure you go check out dan nicole's youtube video the original video is going to be linked down below as well as his channel so full credit goes out to him for this video also guys around the area too you can tell that the ice is cracking and pretty much it just looks like it's melting and water is coming through so i truly do think on tuesday we're going to be getting something big happening with the dam and then maybe like on monday the day before um like a little teaser trailer or something inside the game that hints towards this major in-game event happening which i'm going to cover so make sure you check back onto the channel for that and also let me know your thoughts about this um nuke easter egg and your theories like do y'all think um you know the dam is gonna get hit with the nuke and the ice is gonna crack or do you think they're two separate events or or something again let me know your thoughts down below in the comments guys i love y'all so so much have a great rest of the day till next time i'll see you later